February 14 is V-Day, Victory, Valentine and Vagina. V-Day is a global activist movement which aims to end violence against women and girls. It raises funds and awareness through benefit productions of playwright founder Eve Ensler's award-winning play The Vagina Monologues and other artistic works. This year, on February 14, V-Day will take the shape of One Billion Rising, One Billion Women and those who love them to strike, dance and rise. Brisbane organiser Louisa Cheswas explains. When you look at the world population of women, we're looking at a, a billion women who may have been or may be within their lifetime raped or sexually abused. A billion women, that's absolutely huge. I became involved because I just simply believe that violence against women and girls is absolutely unacceptable. It doesn't matter why, it doesn't matter how, it's just not acceptable. In the society that we live in, we teach our girls how to avoid rape, but we don't teach our boys not to rape. And maybe that's what we should be doing, because it is a little bit of both sides. But you can't say to a girl, don't go out after midnight or don't do this or don't do that if you don't say the same thing to a boy. I look back, I, I became involved partly after Jill Mia in Melbourne and partly after um, Jyoti Singh Pandey in India. Two very, very tragic events that had a very big impact on me. I remember listening to one local radio station after Jill Mia's um, death and one of the radio announcers suggested that women should not be out alone after midnight. He had a female announcer with her and she was absolutely shocked, as I was, and as I'm sure most women are. As women, we shouldn't have to be structured. We shouldn't have to be told, you can't do this, you can't do that. That is not, that's not fair, it's not equal, and it's not justice. In India, Jyoti didn't ask for what happened to her. She didn't ask to get gang raped. She didn't ask to be sexually abused with an iron bar and she certainly didn't ask to lose her life. The young men that did that come from a culture and the, and the guy that, that killed Jill Mia and the other men that commit rape and violence against women throughout the world come from cultures that allow this to happen. One Billion Rising and V-Day and Evie Insler are the catalyst for trying to bring it to everybody's attention that this is not acceptable. When I looked on the website, one of the latest pieces of news was that there were 14 countries short of in the entire world for this movement, which I think is an absolutely astounding figure. So if they can bring those extra 14 countries on board, it will truly be a worldwide movement. But I'm, I won't quibble on the figure. <laughs> One Billion Rising is a dance movement because for women throughout the world in so many different communities and cultures, dance is their release. It's their only way of being themselves and of pushing past the pain that they have to live with on a daily basis. Eve's asked for women throughout the world, wherever you live, no matter where, and men who support women throughout the world to dance and to release and be a revolution, be part of the revolution. And I am just so looking to be part of this revolution. There is a structured dance that has been choreographed for V-Day. Those willing to participate can learn the dance ahead of time and be part of flash mobs that will be occurring in their local region. Brisbane is dancing to the official V-Day music, which is Break the Chain, which was written by Tina Clark. You can look it up on, on YouTube. It's an absolutely awesome song, completely encompasses the spirit of V-Day and the spirit of what we're trying to achieve. In Brisbane, our practices are outside Goma at 5 o'clock every Sunday. As many people as want to join in, please join in. We, we just want everybody, everybody that really wants to, to strike, dance and rise. At a recent practice outside Goma, I spoke with Steve Barry about his reasons for rising on February 14. I've got a bit of a keen interest in the promotion of the awareness of domestic violence and, and also 
and are very very keen to promote the, the the global awareness of it as well. And I think this is a great event that um, really gets behind that. I guess it's something that we can pour a lot of energy in and be passionate about. I think it's a, it's a great idea. I think we, as a, as a human race, need to embrace moving forward. This is one of the key areas where we need to, to do some work. Are there any particular triggers for you about why you want to step forward and help stop violence against women and girls? Yeah, I think there's a, there's a little bit of, you know, I think everybody gets touched by domestic violence um, in their life. Uh, you know, if it's not directly, then you know somebody. And I think that's, that's a harsh reality. I guess I'm doing it because in my situation... There's, there's been people that are close to me, like brothers and uh, mothers and fathers that have been involved in domestic violence. And for me, I, I guess I'm trying to counteract that by you know, creating an awareness or being part of creating an awareness so that hopefully the message will one day get through to, to those people to help them and, and to strive for a, a brighter future. The One Billion Rising dance flash mobs will be occurring on February 14 at midday hopefully in your local town or city. In Brisbane, they will occur in the Queen Street Mall. Alana McGregor is working with One Billion Rising. As part of the events in Brisbane, they're organising to put on productions of the Vagina Monologues written by Eve Ensler. What's your take on using arts for social change? I think it's just such a powerful way to connect with people on a topic. It's sort of this play in particular, it's so funny and the word vagina still isn't very comfortable for people to use even though it should be really. You know, if you can make people laugh and give them something to think about, I just think it's such a powerful way to give a message. We're going to be doing three shows of the Vagina Monologues. It's going to be at uh, Bleeding Heart Cafe in Brisbane. It's going to be the 25th, 26th and 27th of March. 95% of the profits go towards a local charity that works to help end violence against women. We were able to nominate a charity and, and we chose DV Connect because they work really closely with women that are getting out of domestic violence they, situations their job is when people have to leave the house because their you know in, their lives are in danger or they're in just in a terrible situation and they leave with nothing and DV Connect sort of steps in we'll go and pick them up we'll take them to a safe house and then help connect them into services that can I guess then work through the next steps of what you do when your life's come to that point. That was Alana McGregor, Steve Barry and Louisa Chesfass speaking for One Billion Rising and V-Day. For further information, www.onebillionrising.org or www.vday.org or on Facebook, One Billion Rising, hyphen Brisbane or your local town or city. Shirley Way for Brisbane Line 4ZZZ.